Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Brian from Brian and Ead. And if you're a typical viewer of our content, this might be a little bit of a departure because normally we cover theme parks, theme park news, live streams and vlogs and Florida life. But I can't contain my excitement. If you clicked on this thumbnail, if you clicked on this video, I would assume you're a Halloween fan yourself and you're getting all caught up in the hysteria. And I I've avoided... All things Halloween, ends, trailer, gossip, everything for a long, long time. I promised myself I would not get caught up in it. But, you know, it's mid-July. Uh, there's been no official trailer released just yet. Although Jason Bloom said it's dangerously close to releasing. So I'm just, I got so excited this week and I fell into the rabbit hole of just gossip, uh, innuendo and rumors about the trailer and also about Halloween. So. Um, you know, we, we cover all theme parks and we do all that stuff and Florida life, but a big part of us is horror too. We love, love, love horror. And, you know, it's Halloween is big right now in Florida because we're gearing up for HHN and Mickey's not so scary. So Halloween, you know, is a big thing down here. So we're really feeling it. So I'm getting in the mood for Halloween. I cannot wait for Halloween and it's supposed to open October 14th. Uh, I do believe. And, there's no trailer yet, which I'm fine with because I don't want like too much stuff being revealed too far in advance and like the buildup isn't there. So I'm fine with it being later. I don't care. It's supposed to come out maybe any day now, maybe end of July, maybe early August. I'm fine with it coming out in early August because it just shortens the time frame from when it comes out officially. I cannot wait to see it in the theater. Uh, my partner, Ed and I, we watched the first one at home. I started in the theater and we weren't together at that point. We were at different states. So he didn't really catch it, but Halloween kills he watched with me. And we're really excited about ending this uh, Blumhouse trilogy, uh, this Halloween, his Halloween version, you know, version of Halloween. We're excited about ending it by watching in the theater. And uh, yeah, we're just really excited about it. So, you know, the point of this video, it's going to be short and it's all over the place because I'm throwing this video kind of together. I'm really, 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 really excited. Uh, so in a few minutes, we're just going to talk about some of the rumors, some far-fetched, some maybe not so far-fetched about what's going to happen in Halloween ends. Um, but let's start with some concrete facts. Okay, here are the facts. Uh the fact is Halloween ends is four it's a time jump. It's four years later than Halloween kills. Now, Halloween 2018, right, was a sequel to the original Halloween, and 2018 and Halloween Kills happened the same night. This one is gonna happen four years in advance, which I think is smart because Halloween Kills had so much death and destruction, which I loved. You know, Michael Myers was unstoppable and everything they did to him, you know, he refused to die. And we're going to go into the rumors kind of about that in a second and what that exactly means. But, you know, Halloween Kills was great in my book. The, the, ho the hospital scene could have been shortened up. And, of course, the evil dies tonight chant. A little corny. Uh, but beyond that, Halloween Kills was excellent. Uh, looking forward to and So, uh, again, long story short, let's get into the concrete evidence. It's four years later. Returning our uh, Lori Strode, her granddaughter, Allison. Deputy Hawkins and Lindsay Wallace, a legacy character uh, who returned in Halloween Kills, who was one of the few to survive. So that's pretty cool. We know that. Other things we know that it's supposed to happen in real time in 2022. Uh, also, Jamie Lee Curtis went on to say in public that this, and she said this a couple months ago, that this Halloween ends. The movie is going to piss off or anger a lot of people. Uh, and then we had John Carpenter, who recently said that Halloween ends is going to be a severe departure from the first two movies. So take that as you will. Um, so rumors started to run rampant about what 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 could piss off Halloween fans. And, you know, the biggest rumor going around that would definitely probably piss off a lot of fans. It really wouldn't piss me off as long as he did it right is. Uh, there's rumors that Hall uh, Michael Myers might spend the better part of the movie or maybe all of the part of the movie on masks. Uh, there's another rumor that it might be a new mask, which I'm sure it will be, but 
it might be a very you know because it's weathered and torn and burnt up so i'm assuming it's going to be a different type of mass uh but there's other rumors that he might listen there's so many rumors that like people flung so much shit at the the fan to see what sticks or the wall to see what sticks so i think some of these are more credible than others there's some you know also what would make the halloween fan base ticked off is if michael myers spoke right if he spoke and that's a big rumor too that he might speak uh there's other rumors that i'm gonna get to this in a second hold on because there's so many going out there uh, there's even one that's two far-fetched ones that one that he has a brother that no one knew about um that might be a little far-fetched uh there's one rumor saying like the dad uh had something to do with this you know the dad from the original michael myers father had something to do with this i think those are so kind of far-fetched i don't think they would happen i think they're cool to like go down that road but i don't think that's gonna happen um there's another kind of rumor that was circulating that michael myers will uh die in the first 15 20 minutes and who knows what the rest of the movie is going to be about that's an interesting take i think it's kind of a switch on the whole when laurie strode died in halloween resurrection in the first like 10 minutes 15 minutes and then the movie went on with michael so michael died in the first 15 20 minutes and then the rest of the movie went on with laurie somehow i don't know i don't know that's a rumor but i'm sure that would piss off a lot of halloween fans um so there's some other rumors too which i think you know as i go down the rumor list i think they get a little bit more credible so uh i do think the ones i mentioned so far are not completely credible or are outlandish and not going to happen but there's some inkling that this version this halloween ends you know like john carpenter said it's going to be a departure there's some people thinking it's going to take more of a supernatural route, which I'm fine with. Like, I'm big on Twin Peaks. So if you can hang with Twin Peaks, Twin Peaks is like craziness. So I'm fine with a little supernatural. I'm fine with a little weird. And if you look back at Halloween Kills, nothing killed Michael Myers, right? And Laurie Strode said, as each Halloween passes or as each you know time Michael Myers kills, he transcends and becomes this like bigger entity. So I'm thinking... They probably might go down that uh, way of thinking for Halloween ends. And I'm fine with that because that goes back to kind of like, you know, Rob Zombie's Halloween. They hated, uh, you know, the white horse. I think that was in part two. Uh, but I I'm down with that. I'm down with a little supernatural stuff, you know, as long as it's not cringe and too silly. But I'm down with that. So anyway, so going back to what I'm saying, you know, if you recall the scene of Halloween Kills when the throwback to the original Halloween that they did, the you know, those those awesome scenes, there's like a focus on the antenna tower in the town. And some people are saying like Halloween ends might end off or give up some like Halloween three season of the witch type vibes going on there with the antenna and the radio station, which I'd be down for seeing that some people are saying that, you know, after this Halloween, you know, they might take it in the direction that they originally were going to do after Halloween 2 and make it an anthology series. And every year we get something different, not necessarily Michael Myers. Um, you know, and there's the obvious rumors that Lori's going to die. Michael's going to die. Maybe they both die. Maybe they both live. But I don't think, I mean, obviously one of those is going to be the outcome. But I don't think those would be so much of a departure, so much of like angering Halloween fans like Jamie Lee Curtis said. So, um, I think, you know, one of those scenarios is quite or if not definitely possible, which is fine. I think that everyone knew one of those scenarios is going to happen. Um, so the one rumor that tonight I just found out about and, you know, this is the most credible one so far, even though it's being dispelled. This is very divisive, right? Um, what I'm about to say. And if, you know, you don't want to potentially hear something that's most likely going to happen in Halloween ends. I'd stop here, but um, there's this <clears throat> image going around and I'll see if I can post it here of a hobo Michael Myers, a la Rob Zombie's Halloween two. Now that's very divisive because um, a lot of people did not like that look or take to that look um, again, you know, 
I'm okay with that look for two reasons. Because, you know, Halloween Kills had tons of Easter eggs paying homage to all Halloween movies of the past. So I don't mind this homage to Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. And to be quite honest, um, as you can see from the image, you know, if I'm able to post it, he's wearing, you know, green overalls. And he has, like, a hoodie type thing on. Now, the version I'm showing you has him completely maskless. But there's another version going around where he's mass uh mass all the way kind of up to halfway like his lower face is shown uh and the figure obviously is based on james courtney now there are a lot of people saying it's completely fake you know someone posted this on twitter saying you know i got a leak um from michael myers a photo of how he looks like and he has got this axe around his back and he's carrying a big butcher knife and to be honest the figure is really cool so here's some things a lot of people are saying it's fake but the figure itself is completely real. Like someone took the time to craft that. It's beautiful. Um, and then some people saying, okay, well, just because someone like crafted that figure doesn't mean it's real. But then, you know, there are some people as part of a lot of live streams tonight. There are people that say, listen, um, say what you will. But this image, you know, that I just showed you guys is very, very similar to what we most likely will see Michael Myers looking like, at least in some part of Halloween ends. And I'm for it because if you're taking a four year sabbatical and a hiatus, like, you know, he's going to be like, you know, uh, torn and weathered and beard grown and rummaging through the woods and killing wildlife to survive. So I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm needless to say, you know, all these theories, all these rumors aside, um, I'm excited to see uh, Halloween ends and, you know, um, the trailer might drop tomorrow. The trailer might drop next week. It might drop in three weeks or a month. But I'm excited to say with my partner, Ead, for our channel, we're going to do our first like trailer reaction uh, that we've ever done. It's our first reaction video. I'm really excited about it. Um, I was really excited about it. This is why I came on tonight to make this short video. Um Guys, like, are you excited about Halloween? Uh, do you think any of these rumors might be true? You think it's all bullshit? Um, are you excited about any of these rumors? Or what What are some rumors? Or what are some things you'd like to see happen on Halloween ends? Um, regardless, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how this trilogy ends. Obviously, true Halloween and horror fans know this is not going to be the end of Michael Myers. Um, it might be the end of Michael Myers for a couple of years until they come up with a new direction, a new director um, might end up being that rumor that it's an adult anthology series. So we might be getting some type of Halloween movie until they decide to bring Michael Myers back. Who knows? Who knows? Will this be the last time we see Jamie Lee Curtis playing Laurie Strode? I'm going to go out on a limb and say most likely, but never say never with the Halloween franchise. Um, so who knows? Needless to say, I'm excited. And, um guys if you um just a couple announcements about what's coming up every sunday night uh i'm here live from the studio from florida with my friend benito with my friend theme park lifestyle and we do a theme park podcast where we talk news and rumors and it's very mature we joke around we curse it's kind of not like your usual disney podcast like we have a great time interacting with the audience who comes in and joins us every sunday that's every sunday at 8 p.m for the most part sometimes we change it but for the most part sunday nights at 8 p.m on this channel you could catch us doing that and please guys <laughs> please uh uh Ed and i are going to do our first live you know first reaction to this trailer we're going to do a video together it's going to be lots of fun Ed is into horror he knows about halloween uh for sure but he doesn't know like the ins and outs like so he wouldn't know about the thorn uh, the curse of michael myers he wouldn't know about like uh danielle harris you know all that good stuff so i'm excited for him to join me in watching it and getting his comments on it and his critiques on it and our thoughts and reactions so guys thank you for watching this video i appreciate so much the um support that my regular followers have given me if you clicked on this video and you're not normally a follower of my content um give us a like you know watch some of our videos maybe sub to us um i think you'll find that you'll like it and you know our channel is named brian and ed even though we talk florida live theme parks 
uh, news and stuff like that and do live streams from the parks and from home about the parks. You know, horror is part of our life. Local Florida events are part of our life. So it's like a mishmash of a lot of stuff. So we, I, I, you know, we're here to entertain you and we hope we do just that. So please consider liking, subbing, following, comment down below, sharing it out. So we appreciate it so much, guys. And we'll see you for the reaction video coming out any second. Take care, guys. Have a great night.